Jonathan the Porcupine by Kathy Gebhardt and Jonathan Antoine. Illustrated by Chelsea Ray Meeker. Once there was a porcupine named Jonathan. He was a happy little porcupine who loved to sing. He sang in the sunshine and sang in the moonlight. He sang in the house and sang in the garden. Singing made Jonathan's heart sore. As Jonathan grew, he realised he did not look the same as the other animals at school. The rabbits looked soft and lovely. The chipmunks looked small and cute. The squirrels had fabulous bushy tails. But Jonathan had sharp-looking quills, a long pointy nose, and beady eyes. No one thought he was lovely, or cute, or even like someone they wanted as a friend. The other animals would avoid him, and some made fun of him. The squirrels were the worst. They called him all sorts of names. The names hurt Jonathan, and he became very quiet. He was hoping if he was quiet enough, everyone would stop noticing him, and stop calling him names. Soon the other animals forgot he was even there. His teachers forgot too. Jonathan felt invisible, but safe. It was very lonely to be invisible. Jonathan still had music in his heart, but he kept it quiet and no longer sang to the sun or the moon. Jonathan thought the sun and the moon probably forgot he was there too. One day, Jonathan's grandmother called and wanted to see him. Jonathan quietly trudged down the street to his grandmother's house. He kept his eyes fixed on the ground to avoid seeing the animals playing outside, and he hoped they didn't see him. His grandmother opened the door and gave him a hug. She always knew he was there, no matter how quiet he tried to be. There is someone I want you to meet, his grandmother said, taking Jonathan into the house. This is my friend, Mrs. Hedgehog. She teaches people to sing. You can call me Mrs. H, she said to Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Jonathan didn't look up, but wondered why a singing teacher was at his grandmother's house. Mrs. H sat down at his grandmother's piano and started to play. The song was so beautiful that Jonathan felt happy for the first time in a long time. Then Mrs. H started to sing. Jonathan looked up from the ground to watch and listen. When she was finished, Mrs. H said, Jonathan, your grandmother told me you like to sing. Would you sing a song with me? The music in his heart said yes, so quickly it even surprised Jonathan. Do you know the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Jonathan nodded and Mrs. H began to play. As he started to sing, all Jonathan's sadness melted away, and his heart soared once again. Mrs. H said she would meet Jonathan to sing with him every day after school. Every afternoon, as soon as the school bell rang, Jonathan ran to his grandmother's house, forgetting to be quiet and invisible. One day, Mrs. H asked Jonathan if he would sing with her at the Strawberry Festival. He wanted to do it because she had been so nice to him, so he agreed. On the day of the festival, Jonathan looked in the mirror while he was getting ready. He still had sharp-looking quills, a long pointy nose and beady eyes, but now he also had a smile. When it was time to sing, Jonathan saw the squirrels in the audience laughing and pointing at him. He started to leave when Mrs. H took his hand and together they went on stage. When the music started, Jonathan only felt the song in his heart, not the mean voices of the squirrels in the audience. After the concert, many animals came up to Jonathan to say he was amazing. The squirrels were the ones being quiet now. Jonathan was still different, but that was okay with him. 